So we've learned about how normal reproduction works, but the question everybody always wants to know is how are twins, these most peculiar of genetic situations, where two people occupy the womb at the same time? Um, so there are uh, a couple of situations that can give us twins, and how they look and, and their genetics are very different because of that. So we have fraternal and we have identical twins. Um, fraternal twins are something that is genetic. There is something in the mother's genetics that release two eggs at a time. So we've talked about that the ovaries typically release one egg at a time, alternating every other month, but in some women, they release two at a time. So we get um, two eggs that get fertilized by two different sperm. They then grow into uh, or become two separate zygotes with two completely different pieces of information, two completely separate embryos, um, and then two different fetuses that develop into two completely different babies. Um, they're just like siblings. They um, have, you know, two sperm, two eggs, but, you know, occupy the same space at the same time. Now, with identical twins, nobody really knows how this happens. Um, we get one egg and one sperm fertilizes it to get one zygote. Um, but then something happens when that zygote starts undergoing mitosis, and it splits and makes two embryos. They have the exact same genetic information because it was one sperm and one egg. Nobody knows what this something is that happens during mitosis. Um, but then those two embryos go on to form two babies um, that have exactly the same DNA. They are genetically identical to each other and occupied the same space at the same time. Um, whereas fraternal twins um, are different from each other because they're two different sperm fertilized by two different eggs. Um, so if it's an identical situation, sometimes people are like, oh, well, do we know so-and-so is identical? And listen, if it's a boy and a girl, they're definitely not identical. They can't have the same. Um, identical twins have to be the same sex. If they're a different sex, fraternal, and then they can be the same sex, be fraternal too. Conjoined twins um, are a situation where the people share body parts. It's usually a result of incomplete splitting during, um, after that zygote that gets fertilized with an identical twin situation. Um, they just don't get completely separated from each other. Um, so um, the two people are kind of stuck together and at all different parts or, or points in their body that that's possible. Now this one is super peculiar. A uh, chimera, or chimera, depending on how you want to pronounce that, is what happens when you have two separate embryos, two eggs, two sperm, that fuse into one person. Very few people have this. Um, but what happens is that some parts of their body have completely separate DNA than other parts of their body because they're two different people that fuse into one. Um, so there have been a few reports of people who have like children that have different DNA than they do because they were a uh, chimera and then uh, their like uterus or testicles were actually from their twin and it's all kinds of um, exciting. So it's a wacky world of reproduction. A lot can happen, but those are just a few examples.